Hey guys, I'm back. Baby's back. Hello. <laughs> You've had to deal with Lozzy, Meyer, and Scott for the last two weeks. How was the that? Dream team. I Nothing. must admit, I did. I did enjoy editing you guys. It was very funny. First podcast made it out. That's it. You did it. Yeah, it's, you a, guys... it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> no, but see, you guys were proper like in the group chat and that. You were like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah." We had to stop at halfway because we thought it was too shit. It wasn't at all. Watching it back, I can't believe that we thought that. But it, I think, in the moment, it was just like. It was the content of the stories, so let's be honest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, you're absolutely right. No, but you're absolutely right. It was those stories were pretty shite, but <laughs> that makes it funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got a series now, so it yeah. makes sense. Obviously, the horse being pregnant, that was good. <laughs> of course, the horse was pregnant. So. Yeah, that was a highlight. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Have you watched them or listened to them, Bailey? I started listening to the one-liner ones today. I haven't mm. finished. I think I've got about 10 minutes left. I Oof, need to... You skipped the first one. I didn't skip it. It's just I clicked <laughs> on the Drip podcast. And, it's because and it was that's the, most the latest one. one. Come up first. Yeah. I haven't listened so to the is... one-liner one yet. Yeah, it's good. I'm enjoying it. It's good. Yeah. Mm. No, it is. It is. They're very, they are very funny. They're very funny. Well done. Um, I nearly bailed out of tonight's because I'm just so fucking tired. <laughs> But I just thought that's not a good look. That's not a good look to uh, miss three in a row. So, um, yeah, I'm here. But now it's fine. <laughs> Tonight, today, this morning, this afternoon, whenever you're watching or listening, we're gonna we're gonna talk about the ancient Ramin because we're going back uh, in the next week or so. I'm not gonna specifically detail the date that we go back, but um, yeah, we're going back. We got a booked and uh yeah we're really really looking forward to it lozzy's coming with us this time scott earlier when we were planning um a segment for the ancient ramen mm-hmm. um you said that you think that they've moved the bedrooms around i think they've moved the content of the bedrooms around from what I've seen on a few of their sort of Facebook posts, there are some things that seem to be in different places to where I remember them being. So, but still in the same room, just don't moved around? Not necessarily. One of the oh. rooms now has more beds than I remember there being when we were there. Okay. And I can't which one? think which one that is. It would probably I be know, the bishop's I know I, room, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, I know I looked at the pictures and went, that looks different to when we were there. There was two single beds in the bishop room when we I went. Think yeah. when I think when I, when I looked the other day, there was now a double bed and a single bed in there. Oh. So I don't know where the doubles come from, but possibly one of the other rooms. Well, so you think there might That's potentially it. be a single bed in the witch's room now? Because there was a double in the witch's, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. there was also a double in with, the with attic. With all the teddy bears. Was that yeah, not a poster yeah. bed in the witch's room, though? No. No? No. You have then made again. that up. <laughs> There's no there's poster not a four bed poster anywhere bed in the, in the witch's room. I don't think there's a four poster bed there. No. Oh. I think there's two <laughs> singles, two doubles, and a cot. I mean, there was yeah. a double in the attic, and oh. I don't know how they yeah. get that down. Double in the attic, two singles, yeah, bishop, to, and a double have... in the corner of the witch's room with like, like all the teddies on it. Yeah. You just have to build that in the attic. Yeah. But why change things around? I don't get it. Keep it yeah. Up. Yeah, I guess so. But, yeah, but it's yeah. not that it's the whole thing not supposed to be like, oh, this is haunted from when John had it. <laughs> well, I don't. Then know. again, no, John's bedroom was in the living room, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, John. John slept on the sofa, I think, on the like sofa bed. Yeah. Fair play. There's no bed about it. It's just strictly sofa in it. There's well, nothing... yeah. yeah. I'm thinking back to the Ghost Adventures episode, and that was about thirty years ago at this point. Oh, so yeah. That was when John was getting sexually assaulted well, on the bed in the thingy room. Maybe, maybe they moved yeah. it around to spice it up a little bit, like because apparently, isn't there a thing like ghosts don't like things being moved around? Mm-hmm. So maybe if they move it around, it kind of boosts activity. Maybe. So I have just had a look from a post on the sixteenth of September. The bishop's room has two double, two single beds in it, but that is all I can see from that post. So, 
hopefully. And they've got a horrible face in one of the windows. So that's cool. That's oh, great. Right. It's oh, brilliant. Nice. nice. So potentially when we, because obviously we'll do a sweep again, um, there might be something a little bit newer. Mm. Or at least the 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 uh, the layout will be a little bit newer. Yes. But there's a few things that I want to check out. There's a few things I want to check out when we're there. Mm-hmm. I do want a very fucking thorough sweep. I want to have a look, and I'm not saying I'm not saying that I'm suspicious because it the set like, of like potentially them having someone running around in that building. Let me let me flesh out my point. So Bailey, this was never caught on camera, and I don't think we ever mentioned it in the video. But obviously, Bailey, you thought you saw a bald man in the yeah. top window in yeah. the witch's room, wasn't it? No. So it would have been the like the landing area. I think there's a window of the landing area. Yes, like there is. The, the landing at the, the bottom attic. of the stairs. I think. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it's just yeah. before you go into the attic. Yeah. 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 I mean, I thought I saw like the top of a bald man's head, mm. and that was when you were stood outside, wasn't outside, it? Outside, and that's when we were packing away. Yeah. yeah. Now the reason I bring that up is because TGF, who have done their fair share of um, ghost videos, they did the ancient ram in. Yeah. They saw a, a shadow figure in the witch's room window. Then they did another video. I think it was Shepton Mallet Prison, something like that. Fucking sick location. And they were talking about the ancient Ram Inn. And they're convinced that, that the ancient Ram Inn have someone running around the building. Mm. Right. right. Now, I am not convinced by that because I've been in there. I know how creaky it is. I know how tight some of the spaces are. And I just refuse to believe that we wouldn't have fucking seen them. Yeah. Also However, as well, also as well, just quickly on that, the whole reputation would be completely ruined if they, if someone caught them. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. It would, it would be in the mud. Yeah. However, um, Sorry, Bailey, you interrupted my flow there. I don't know where sorry, I was going with that. that. No, that's all right. What was I saying, however? What was what point was I making before I got there? Um, um you don't think someone's running around. Yeah, because we've been Yeah, there. I don't think yeah, I don't think someone's running around because I've been there. Yeah, 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 yeah. However, there is there's two locations. Not there's two locations in that building I'm slightly suspicious of. Yeah. The attic. You can only go so far down the other end, and then you're not allowed to go past that. Mm-hmm. Why? So I might do a little commando crawl and just poke my head around. And the caravan outside. Mm. We when we were there last. I time. don't remember the light being on, and no. then in the yeah. in like three in the morning, the light was on. was on in the caravan. Yeah, but did we just not? One as well what's that another location directly above the kitchen the kitchen the two locations you're not allowed to go that... in the end of the attic and the the bale barn or where the fuck it is yeah, above the loft, i think they call it but... yeah i'm not mistaken so the the room above the kitchen there is no physical way that people are getting past there no. out and then back up and also mm. it's such a tiny little room the the room the back half of the attic supposedly the reason that you can't go across it is because the floor is too weak and that does you know it checks out it's an it's, it's a very it. old building yeah. um but also you can see when you're outside you can see in there and there was a light on and there was no one in there so yeah. it was like a storage room also getting down from that attic is risky when you're paying full attention not trying to sneak that fucking spinal injury i got from that yeah was fucking you did shit. that i tripped down the stairs between us that those stairs and that attic was not a fun yeah, yeah. My, my, neck, out of. my neck was fucked for about a month and a half after that mm. video yeah so because basically i went I, I went to go up the attic and there was a low beam and i hit my head and like compressed my neck down and the top of my spine just like really jarred. It was fucking horrendous. Yeah. 
It's that sudden like jolt. Yeah, down bosh. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking shit. But the reason I bring up the loft, sorry, is because at the end of the end of the attic where you're not allowed to go, to the left of there would be parallel with the like John's loft. Mm. So if you're not allowed, it's all up connected. There, you're not allowed up there. We don't know if they've somehow pushed it through. I'm not saying mm. that they have, but that could be a way that they could have somebody going in John's loft. And yeah, then through into the attic to get access to the rest of the building. Yeah, obviously, I don't know, man. Mm. Yeah, it's it's weird. I just I just want to I I just want to be able to completely rule that out for myself, you yeah, know. Yeah. But I know a lot of people. I love my uncle. He was like, you know, he was like, oh, they got someone in there running around, and I was like, but it's 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 at the same time, it's like, but I've been in there. And you don't understand how like it's a thousand years old, how creaky it is, how yeah. tight it is. Yeah, there's just no way. But then when the demon thing on the mirror, as we were going up the stairs, Bailey, you thought you saw something run across through the through the slats yeah, of the thing. Caught, something caught my, which could obviously be an apparition, off. be a ghost, or was it someone? It was. Well, they just couldn't have been. They could not it was be. I don't know where they could have gone. Figure. The thing, the thing is, is like I know that we're all about questioning things but it's been a year and a half since we've been there now but mm. it's clear as day in my head there is no physical way that there was a person in that building yeah. you've got to remember bolted gate locked door we were in there for 13 hours yeah that whole building was pitch black and i get that they might you know they might know the building or all of this stuff but the building is what is it scott built in 1600 or something ridiculous no 1100 1100s so oh. there is no way and like obviously they've they've revamped a lot of the stuff and you know a lot of the the infrastructure is new but it's so creaky if you go back and you listen to that video everywhere we walk it's there's yeah. no way someone could even sneak around there without yeah. us having an inkling the that there's something well, going on quickly going back to what i saw at the bottom of the stairs the speed in which i saw it move there is not a chance you can walk at that speed throughout any of the ram and not make a single noise. Mm. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't yeah. It, didn't, it didn't just like take a little slowly. It fuck it, it bolted across. The There's other no thing way is it would made a noise. If it was downstairs, I do not know where it could have gone. Yeah. It ran into nothing. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean do you, know, do you know what the most fucking annoying thing of all that is? And the, I asked her for the cctv of that moment and she mm. never sent it now i'm not saying i'm not saying that there's anything untoward i'm just saying it's fucking annoying yeah, that, yeah. you know because that's part of the package is like if you know the time code of the cctv then you can ask for it and i Why did not having it there and she never sent it to me so yeah. like, fuck's sake it's very yeah. very odd yeah very odd yeah and then, I mean, we, we do seem to have issues with places and CCTV footage. Yeah. That is true. That is but, true. Neil. <laughs> but Neil. Yeah. I know. I think that people, I think what we've learned is people that own places in this industry do not understand how to use CCTV cameras. So bring your own. Neil, oh, yeah, we're going to bring this footage. Up. We're so lucky that we filmed it from my phone onto yeah. his. Because if yeah. not, we would have never have had that moment. That's imagine how infuriating that would have been. Yeah. If yeah. we never got that. And yeah. it's so frustrating that there is CCTV footage out there that um what is her name, cat whatever her name is, the woman that runs the RAM, that she had at one point that could prove that there was no one there and potentially yeah. show a full bodied apparition that Bailey saw. And we just yeah. didn't get it. That is very annoying. Yeah. 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 Is that if I'm remembering correctly? I know obviously there is um, in the kitchen area, which is like the safety hub of the uh, of the building. Obviously, there's lots of plug sockets and stuff, so you have your opportunity to to charge all your shit, which is wonderful. Um, are there plug sockets throughout the building? I can't really remember. There will be because I... there's lamps. Yeah, yeah. Because I want basically I want to set up the tapo yeah, there, in there the room be. with the mirror. There'll be. There'll be few and far between because of the age of the building, but they they will have some there. Yeah, there's like little yeah. table lamps and other little yeah. That are plugged yeah, in, so. they ask you to leave th at least three on three when lamps you leave. on. Yeah, but they specifically asked for different ones to the ones that were on when you went in. 
It was so, it was yeah, so what's random. that all about? It's, I think it's, it's to make the place look lived in, I guess, for yeah. anyone going past. So it yeah. looks like people are in there. Yeah. Well, maybe it's for the ghosts. I, d- I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. But don't get me wrong. Like, I don't want to sound like a fuck, like I'm moaning. I'm buzzing. I can't wait. I love the location. I love the building. Um, but. I'm going I am going back partly because I do have a few question marks that I would like mm. to just iron out, you know. But um it's also gonna be really interesting because obviously Ancient Ram Inn was the first like proper, proper mm. paranormal investigation that we did. And um I feel like we've come an incredibly long way since then. Don't get me wrong, I think that, that Ancient Ram Inn video is one of the best videos that I've ever like edited together especially considering the fucking technological difficulties we had with the uh the 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 uh other camera that i borrowed that was in the wrong fucking resolution and frame rate oh yeah cool. so i had so i had to like do everything that i could to make it kind of look intended so i basically turned it into a fucking blair witch camera but um yeah no i think it's going to be really cool it's going to be mm. really cool. And obviously, Lozzy, really you're joining us. Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. I, I want to see. I want to see what the. Not the fuss is all about, but I want to see <laughs> kind of what it has in store for me. Yeah. Yeah. As someone I'm who's not being funny. Going there like mm. a full, pretty much non believer, you know? So. Yeah. I think the thing is, is you in every single podcast or live stream that we've done in the last year and a half, you've had to listen to us talk about it. And I think like it's gonna be nice for you to finally be like part of the part of the H Ramming Club. Yeah. <laughs> Where yeah. And... Hopefully we get some sort of fucked up traumatic experience that we can continue to talk about. I'm also really looking forward to just showing you um the exact oh, yeah. path that we took past that mirror so mm-hmm. that you can like I know that you believe us anyway, but so that you can literally see, oh yeah, mm-hmm. they definitely couldn't have vaulted a bench in a couple of barrels to get to this <laughs> yeah. mirror without anyone knowing to, you know. So I it's it's it's, it's it really be cool. Good when we go back, because we can show not only Lozzie, but we can film it as well. We can show that there yeah. is no entrance and yeah. exit points. There, there is a fire door, but absolutely it's there's sealed. no because it would That's literally not. have to be. I, I just think you remember we checked it, it in the. Even yeah. if it wasn't, they would have to go. They would have to open a fire door silently, a foot behind us, then yeah, run past yeah. the barrels, wipe off the thing off the mirror, and then run all the way back. It's just no yeah. way. But we yeah. so we can show that there is no entrance or entry points for someone else in the building to have done it. And then we can show, you know, the exact route and the walk that we took to come yeah. back to find it happen. So it's just it's just it's exciting. It's exciting because we get to go debunk. And it's exciting because it is without a doubt the coolest place that we've been, not only in terms of like, you know, a bit of like celeb factor, because it's just the coolest place ever, but also because of the stuff that we caught. It's just really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. It is it is a fucking epic building. Mm. It really is. And it'd be interesting to see if we get as scared. As we did before, because even before the mirror thing, we were fucking getting very, very, very scared mm. yeah. by that building. I think but we're also more experienced now. Way so. more. Way, I think. A long way. Yeah, I think we're going to be a lot better off this time. A lot better off. Like, and also we're, we're super prepared for stuff as well. Like, for example, the Ouija board. I know we don't really want to do those anymore, but oh, yeah. we know to bring a planchette. Yeah. So, yeah, I think yeah. I think with the Ouija board with the RAM, I know that we find them boring, but we can't really we can't really kind of push it aside to like to not do it because we've already done one. Mm. Because we haven't done our own because it was massive. Like the Ouija board in the in the RAM is fucking huge. Mm. Yeah, like, and it's, it's glass. The size of the table and it's glass. I feel like if we're gonna do a Ouija board again, it would have to be at the RAM under our own terms with our own stuff. Because mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's just yeah, you can't I can't really say that we've done a Ouija board at the RAM but just because of how big it was. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It was a, a table and an empty goo pot. Yeah. That's that's yeah, the literally. Ouija board that we did. Literally. But I don't know, there's something about that that I kind of like because it's like it's so uncommercialized, if you know what I mean. Like mm-hmm. it's it's proper yeah. taking it down to 
the route. I what I love about on. what I love about the 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 ancient ram in which I know Scott, you heard more. I think you heard as well, didn't you? They got oh, them the really creepy. F- no, the fucking creepy bell things everywhere. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that you that's where we um made we went and put the goo pot on yeah. the yeah. table. Yeah, because we went to go try out the pot to and, make sure it but, slid. Obviously, neither of us, we both refused to go in there by ourselves already at that point. What was it like six in the afternoon? Refused to go in there by yeah. ourselves, which so is the other got thing. Wandered in. That was the peak of summer, it was still light at about 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. gonna be it's dark, gonna be dark, dark straight away. Oh, yeah. we're going to turn up and it will be pitch black. Yeah, yeah, oh, true. I didn't think about that. Oh, so sorry. that that bit when we were sat in the car. With all it's the lights good. on, yeah, because we, be went, like we went to the pub away. before, didn't we? We because yeah. we yeah, not yeah. obviously didn't go get pissed, but because it was the hottest day of the year, got there. We weren't allowed in yet because we got there a bit too early, yeah. and it was and our I first time meeting more. Scott. So we were like, "Let's go to the pub, get some food and stuff." Do a little icebreaker, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We we wandered about for about three or four hours before we even started. I don't think we got started until about nine or ten. Yeah. I think yeah, well, we, were we did ourselves. no, we did our preliminary sweep and then we came back. Oh yeah, and then, yeah, and then yeah. We, did, we did the history and stuff where they went and got. That's right. Yeah, yeah you guys went shop. and got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. Went to go get some drinks and that's yeah. where you told me Bailey that you were going to propose to Kelly. I did. Yeah. Uh, we we went on a walk yeah. to the shops. Yeah. And you told me. Nice. Yeah. So first time meeting Scott. And finding out the baby was going to get engaged. I think I was, pretty cool. I was going to ask Jordan to be my best man as well. Yes, yeah, you did. I think it was the same conversation. That's oh, so really? Cool. Yeah. Know, yeah. It all went off. So it was from then that, that I knew. And I'm so bad at keeping secrets. So honestly. I don't know. That, was, that must have been like two, three months before then. Yeah. That was before, yeah, so. before I proposed. So yeah. Mad. A month before I proposed, yeah. Anyway. As if. You know, going, on, <laughs> going on a little... Uh, Got a little, um, what's it called? Tangent. Yeah, got a little, little tangent there. But, um, yeah, so this time, lots planned. Yeah. Um, we have a narrative for this one as well, which is great. Because mm. obviously going yeah. into the RAM the first time, it was like, this is our first major investigation. What yeah. What the fuck do we do? <laughs> like, do you know yeah. What I mean? Whereas this time we've got a narrative. We know what we want to go and achieve this time. Mm. We know what to look out for. We've got focal points that we need to look out for. And we're yeah. getting overall better all around as a team now. Hundred so. percent. Yeah, I've, I've got a spin that I want to put on the Estes method, which I haven't seen anyone do, Ooh. which I think is quite cool. I might be wrong. I don't watch basically any paranormal investigators, <laughs> so um, I do. That's, so <laughs> that's that's one thing that that's one thing that always gets me. Uh, like, is sometimes you get, and this is very very rare, by the way. I'm just saying. Um, sometimes you get like comments on the internet like, oh, you copied this from blah, blah. And it's like, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> but funnily enough, more than one person can have the same idea. <laughs> like, and I'm not, not being funny. Not everyone does the same shit that you do in your life. So <laughs> I don't watch everything that you do. Like, you know, the... it's fucking funny. The paranormal world is very limited as to what you can do. You're communicating with things that you can't see. There is yeah. only a certain amount of stuff that you can do. So the yeah. fact that people are people jump to the I'm conclusion not... that you've copied someone when you've came to come to the same idea of about maximum fifty ideas yeah. of how you can In fact, communicate. Just yeah. just to just to re- to really hammer home your point there, I'm actually going to tell everyone right now what the spin is. Okay. Because I'm sure, because you're absolutely know? right. Yeah, I think so. Because you're absolutely right. Like, there's only so many things that you can do. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. so my really super original idea that I haven't seen anyone else do, but they might have done, is I want to do an Estes method, blindfolded, where I'm walking around the house. So oh, I'll yeah. have my hand on someone's shoulder, and you guys will be walking around the building, and... I say in me because I don't know whoever's in the Estes method will just be uh, like speaking what they're hearing as we're moving around. Now, someone else might have done that. I haven't seen it, so I'm claiming it. I've never seen but, it. No, nah, me that's neither. And it's change enough to call it the duty method. That's it. That's <gasps> it. <gasps> the dude Estes, the dude Estes method. 
but yeah, so rest us. That's that's something that I want to try because I think that could be quite cool. Yeah, and also terrifying Another. and very, very even more disorientating for the person in the Estes method because yeah. you're literally moving and you don't know where you're going. Another yeah. neck injury inbound. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. yeah. So yeah, want to do that? You know, want to do obviously the you know, the pendulum EVPs EMFs. We will do a Ouija board. Um, what else have we got? Polaroids. Obviously, all, all the yeah, Polaroids, Polaroids on the fly. Yeah. yeah Rather absolutely. than like, right, let's go around and do Polaroids. I want Polaroids just to be taken at random yeah. intervals. Sure. That, that's sure. the thing that, like, I can't believe we haven't thought about before because the what would be the best idea is in the heat of like some action or some you know back and forth that we're having is taking taking a polaroid and then you know yeah. that you're communicating rather than just you know at the end of the night when everything's kind of quiet and down a little bit going around and just taking pictures in rooms and then leaving new room you know where you've got no activity you haven't started up any energy or anything see my yeah, only thing with that is well. the last time we were there the only reason we caught the mirror is because we went back in to do the last sweep of polaroids it's true it's yeah, true. that was, that was but, on the Polaroid sweep, and we'd have missed we'll that. Well, we we rather than do rather than doing a final sweep with Polaroids, we'll just do a final sweep. Yeah, yeah. Just do a final sweep. Um, I also yeah. want to because I feel like it added some fucking sick moments to the um, maid's head. I want to use the temperature thing on this mm. on this spirit box again. That's fucking sick. Oh, it's yeah. gonna be so cold in there. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I've got a Which question is... for you. Mm. Your SLS that you made that you brought to the round that broke for some random reason when we were there. Mm -hmm. Can oh, you yeah. get that up and running? I will have a look. It was portable, how... wasn't it? It yeah, was, was yeah. Portable. Mine's not portable. And obviously no. with the, the lack of plugs around the RAM, which I'm assuming it does have, obviously I don't know. I don't know the electrical layout of the ancient RAM in. But <laughs> obviously it's going to have a lack of plugs just because of the age of the building. So mm -hmm. if yours is there on the fly i'll see if i can fire it back up and see what sort of state it's in <laughs> yeah it must be i've not looked at it since i don't think Jesus. what actually Rocky. happened to it it worked when i left my house that morning uh it evidently didn't survive the train journey yeah and it just didn't work Ghost. yeah that's it. do you think it was the battery pack or the wiring on the battery pack it might have been because i did do the wiring myself and yeah, i'm not a wiry uh... You're not okay. a wiry, <laughs> commonly you... known as an electrician. Yeah, that's did the you one. Skull, or did you just put an electrical tape around it? Yeah, the second one. Yep, okay, that's it. <laughs> there's, your, there's your answer. Cellar tape. <laughs> there it is. Cellar tape. No solder. I do I do have a solder and kit, although I think it's at my mum's at the minute. I've got one. I can break your skull. Yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, do it. See if I can dig it out, see what state it's yeah. in. I've got a blowtorch. Definitely worth doing. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I've got a flamethrower. Is that any good? I've got a firearm. I've <laughs> <laughs> got a Glock. That's it. Yeah, we've well, got plenty to do. I think plenty it's just going to be if the activity is the same, which we can only hope that it is, and the stuff that we catch is the same, it's just going to be a, a, you know, a league above the last one. We're all so much braver now. Like, the and you know we're we're ready to Skull push the yeah, shot himself still <laughs> <laughs> the um you know we're we're happy to push the boundaries a lot further than we were back then yeah. and we've got so much more equipment now that we can use um you know so many new cool ideas i just think it's really exciting we're so fucking edgy yeah i know it's so fucking rad yeah yeah i think it's gonna be fucking really good I really do. Riding. And then I've got to try my absolute best to get out for Christmas Day. <laughs> Apologies for pulling you out of the podcast momentarily. I just needed to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Wraith. Now, I have to do long editing sessions. And of course, I have to do those overnight paranormal investigations. And as terrifying as they are, which you would think you'd be fueled by fear, when you get to around 2, 3, 4 in the morning, you do get a little bit drowsy. So I use Wraith to keep me alert, keep me aware, and keep me energized. What I love about Wraith is the vast...
vast amount of flavors that you can get. My personal favorite is the pear drop. You know the sweets, pear drops. I know it sounds a bit silly, but you think like drink flavors, they say that they're one thing and they, they're just sort of like, yes, yeah, not though. No, it literally tastes like you're drinking pear drops. And with my code DUDY, that's D-U-D-E-Y, you can get yourself 20 percent off just go to drinkwraith.com and get your wraith energy today thank you so much to wraith for sponsoring this podcast but we'll get it done it'll be fine what like yeah i'll maim it for christmas day worst case it'll be between christmas day and new year's it's all the same thing on christmas day just do it as a new year special mate yeah 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 literally (laughs) Round off Literally. 2023. I think if as long as it's out before Christmas Eve, I think that still counts as a Christmas special. Before Christmas Eve? Oh, sorry, sorry New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve. Gee. As long We're as it's out next time. day. <laughs> yeah. As long as it's out by New Year's Eve, it still counts as a Christmas special, in my yeah, opinion. I would yeah. say so. As long as it's out by Christmas Sunday. week, innit? Get out for the January sales, mate. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. Valentine's That's Day? It. <laughs> Yeah. I'd like, I'd quite like to get it out before New Year's because for New Year's, I was going to put all of this year's investigations into one and then put yeah. it out in like a fucking montage. I don't even know how many, actually, it might have to be, yeah, it might have to be a two parter because I think you can only do 12 hours, can't you? Yeah, I think so. Mind you know, we've probably done about 12 investigations. I don't know how many we've done this year. Well, Can anyone check that? Probably 12 because it'll, We've done one at least one a month. You've uploaded one a month, haven't you? We've done two for a couple of months. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, which actually, uh, I tell you what, this is actually a brilliant treadmill. Um, because <laughs> I so obviously, and I know I said like, oh yeah, I want to be doing one every two weeks, and if we can do it, then I would love to to absolutely try. Um, a lot of people know this already. I did a live stream over on Facebook. I did uh, a Patreon video. I didn't want to do like a dedicated YouTube video because in all honesty, it, do- it, it doesn't affect the YouTube all that much at all. Um, certainly not negatively in my opinion. But for those of you that don't know, um, I for the last three weeks, I have gone back into full-time employment. I did this for a number of reasons. Um, Obviously, this industry is very hot and cold, and some months can be amazing, and then other months can be just shocking. And doing that for five years, all the highs and lows, especially financially, it just really, really took a toll on my mental health, on my ability to just stay sane, um, I think Maya can attest to my general mood um, and things like that. So I decided to um, go back to full-time employment and bring YouTube back to what it was when I loved it the most, which is when it was a hobby. And I have to say, I haven't regretted my decision in the slightest, not even for a second. I think I've definitely made the right decision. Um, I'm not going, I'm not, I'm not trying to make it all a big mystery or anything like that. Um, but I'm not going to detail what I'm doing now. Um, just because I just feel like for the last 10 years, the last five years, especially I've shared so much and I just want to kind of have this, um, to myself. So yeah, but no, I, so I'm in full-time employment now. I'm so much happier like like it's like fucking night and day um it's 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 insane to think like how much it was affecting me without realizing how much it was actually affecting me yeah like it's it, 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 all i could and it's weird because obviously you know it was my dream and all that sort of shit and i think that's maybe why i held on for longer than i should have um but also it's quite interesting and and quite pessimistic um to say but one thing that i've learned is you hear the whole you know if you do what you love for a living you'll never work a day in your life but if you do what you love for a living i can assure you it slowly chips away at your love for it until it just becomes work so um it, it, you know and that's how it felt for me and it just killed the love for for what i was doing um 
So, yeah, so I made the decision, haven't looked back, love having colleagues, love having structure, love having stability, love having a fucking official pension. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just... Your age, what a fucking boomer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can laugh, all you young people out there, but I can assure you, when you get to towards 30, knowing that you're paying into a pension is very nice. But yeah, so basically, um, yeah, I work full time now, um, but I'm still committed to to this podcast every single week, and I'm still committed to the investigation, um, at least once a month. Mainly, be- mainly because, in all honesty, we love doing it so much, and it's so fun to do yeah. again as a hobby. You know, there are no stakes anymore. There is no oh, if this doesn't perform well. Will I be able to pay all my bills this month? Um, it never got that bad. Like it never got that bad where I couldn't pay my own way. But it was. It got to a point some months where it's like, yeah, that's shite. Like, what the fuck am I doing here? Do you know what I mean? So, so yeah. So I just, I just wanted to take that out of the equation completely, and I feel like it's already helped a million percent. You know. Um, and I'm really looking forward to ancient ramming even more so because, you know, although it doesn't matter if we get results or anything and, and the Daring Woods video proved that more than anything, you know, there has always been this underlying bit of stress in me on these investigations. Like it needs to be good. It needs to be scary. It needs to, you know, it needs to be, it needs to be, it needs to be never so much that we've faked anything. Cause as you know, we haven't faked anything and I would never go that far. But now, more than ever, like, who gives a fuck? Mm, yeah. As long as we go there and we have a good time, that's all that matters. As long as we go there and, you know, we enjoy ourselves, we have a laugh, we get a bit spooked, that's all I give a shit about. And yeah. so that's really nice. And also, I don't give a shit about reach anymore. I don't give a shit about views anymore. Mm. All I want is for you guys at home to watch it and to, for you guys at home to listen to, to these pods because you guys have been watching and listening all this time. I don't care if we get new people through the door. I don't care if, you know, a video goes viral anymore. I just want the people that have been enjoying what we've been doing for the last couple of years to just continue enjoying it. That's, that is yeah. literally the only bubble that I give a shit about, you know? Yeah. I think so, the thing um, with like um, YouTube and stuff, you know, getting reach and, getting views and audiences and stuff is it's all just playing into this algorithm and it's yeah, no it's longer bullshit. just making you know something that you're passionate about it's yeah. trying to figure out how to combat this algorithm that doesn't you know it's it's just it's it just wasn't fun anymore no so no. It was, now it, was, it doesn't it matter horrendous. you make you make what you're passionate about you make what you love you make it how you want to do it you put yeah. what you like in the thumbnail what you like in the video you know, you get to do what you want to do rather than just trying to succumb to these sets of rules yeah. to try and get try and get an audience. And I think you'll probably find that just by doing that and, you know, doing it an, as a passion and a, and a hobby, that you're probably going to grow more naturally anyway. So, yeah, yeah. maybe. But if yeah. It, yeah, absolutely. And if it does, cool. If it doesn't, at the end of the day... That's the 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 hundred k plaque is what I did it for. The hundred k plaque is what I got. So I've I've achieved what I came here to achieve. So anything now is just a bonus. I really don't mm. you know I don't give a shit like about accolades or anything like that. So yeah, I just wanted to let you all know. Um, but I didn't want to do the whole fucking you know dedicated video i'm st- the thumbnail is yeah <laughs> the, i'm staring at the camera like looking all sad I'm and quitting. shit you know yeah like fuck that shite off do you know what i mean like i i, just, uh, I can't be asked with any of that shit you know you, you i just want to miss go out and on a perfect opportunity there to look at the camera and do like a really powerful sigh just like <sighs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah the video. yeah yeah Essentially, I've retired because um, I have. I've retired from full time YouTube, but um, yeah, I'm just doing it as a hobby. So, so yeah, that's that's it. And and obviously, we enjoy getting together and doing investigations and getting together and chatting on these pods. And as yeah. long as that continues, we'll continue doing them. Yeah, basically, the thing is, yeah. is you know these these podcasts are essentially just insights into you know 
Friday night discords, basically. This is yeah, kind of what we do in our spare time. And then yeah. the thing is, if you decided to fully quit YouTube tomorrow, never make another video, I would still do the investigations and I would still, you know, obviously we wouldn't do it this formal, but I would still sit here and talk to you guys about this stuff every week anyway. So yeah. Yeah. it makes no difference to any of us whether this yeah. goes on YouTube or not. We all just really enjoy doing it. Like I will genuinely say that hanging out for the investigations is just it's just so much fun. Like it's yeah, such it is, a cool, yeah. fun hobby. And like we do all get along so well. We have such a laugh on the investigations. It's such a like fun little weekend trip that we have. Yeah. You know? So we we all do love it. And it's just that's not gonna stop. And having no. the videos to document it. And, you know, look back on in 20, 30 years time is going to be so cool. Yeah, And exactly. who knows? We might be the first people to catch, like, the most solid evidence ever. So we'll just use that as motivation to continue. Yeah. yeah. But it's, yeah. And, yeah, I completely agree. I don't, yeah. don't know what else to add to that, really. That so, is just, that is... the yeah, that, not like... going anywhere. Yeah, but literally, I just, I just didn't want to be on the hamster wheel anymore because it is what it fucking felt like. I can assure you, every Monday was like fucking Groundhog Day, and I never felt like I could switch off at any point, at any point. So I was always constantly worried about how videos were performing, constantly worried about you know all this sort of shit. What's going yeah. on with the algorithm? Blah 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 blah. That is and now, I'm gonna test too. Yeah, and now. Uh, like I, like the holidays that I've been on in the last few years, like I could never fucking fully switch off ever, mm. ever. But now, you know, I go to work and then half past four comes around and then that's it. Or Friday comes around half past four and then that's it for the weekend. And it's fucking yeah. great. It's fucking awesome. So, yeah, happy days. Yeah, that was. But I did. I I didn't know when or if to. I didn't even know if to sort of like say anything because at the end of the day, you know, I'm not going anywhere. But um, but I'm also just going to make the the content that I enjoy. So if and God bless you if you're out there, and I'm glad that you enjoyed it and you loved it. But if you're out there waiting for me to do a true crime video, I'm sorry, they're never coming back. <laughs> Okay, I'm huh. sorry because I'm just here to do what I enjoy, and the true crime videos made me depressed. So that's why I stopped doing them, and that's why I won't do them now that I'm just doing it for enjoyment. So, but there are many yeah. locations where true crime kind of falls into the paranormal. Like, for example, every single place that I want to go to in America, like the Velisca Axe Murder House, is that what it's called? That place. One of the darkest true crime stories ever. But, you yeah, know, when true. we eventually do our cool American road trip, that the true crime comes back. So you've got to think in like, that respect, I guess. Paranormal, yeah. essentially, most of the time, you are communicating with people that have passed away through traumatic events. And yeah. true crime and murder is a lot of the times the case. And so. sometimes we're trespassing, which is a true crime. Civil. <laughs> True crime. So. <laughs> Unarrested. That's what happens. I've never done that. Oh, yeah. You haven't got in one. It's been yeah. conveniently busy every time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scott's, the, uh, Scott's the resident law abiding citizen. What a snitch. But That's I would good. just like to reiterate <laughs> to viewers and the stream that going into abandoned buildings is not an arrestable offense it's, it's not, not a criminal offense as long as you don't break and enter or take anything it's it's completely it's just trespassing which just means they can just tell they have to tell you to leave that's all they that's all they can do is tell you to leave let's go let's get another yep. disclaimer in, in one of these books three three episodes in a row the drip oh, podcast does not condone breaking and entering <laughs> just trespassing don't be an if their front yeah. door is open you can go in <laughs> exactly well <laughs> Please don't be an E. Yeah. Don't do it, just, but just it, it is fun. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Only when people don't live in the building. Don't just start walking into people's yeah. houses. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Any yeah. ghosties? Open, they're gonna, they're Someone's bringing their shopping and you just sneak through the front door. Yeah, don't yeah. do that. You this can't not arrest me. Scott's right. Ask me to leave. I might consider it. <laughs> yeah. But, but we... Yeah. You know, on the topic of abandoned buildings, I know this this is a the podcast about the Ram, but we have learned 
our lessons about investigating abandoned buildings and looking into whether they're accessible or not after we drove all the way down to Surrey and couldn't get into somewhere because it was owned uh, yeah. by the Russian mafia. So, Yeah, probably best that we didn't get in there, though, to be honest. Definitely, yeah. actually. A um, a private estate owned by still. oligarchs. I know. Oh, it was yeah. a really cool video. And me and yeah. Ozzy had a great sick. time we did, in so. the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. It was just, a lot which of is good. Which is good. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> but then you kept a lookout for us as well. Exactly. We as we were in, as we fuck it, we were in a fucking time warp. That's fucking still that. Well, I'm sorry, we were in that building for 45 minutes, and when you said you were in there for two hours, and then yeah. you said you you called me an hour ago, yeah, when I yeah. thought it was about 10 minutes. It didn't feel like that long, did it, Bailey? At all? Absolutely. Not. You Facetimed us, and then you were like, "Yeah, just got a couple more things to do. We'll be yeah. out in like five, ten minutes." Yeah. We I, all I remember doing after an that hour was later going downstairs <laughs> doing two esters and leaving, and we was yeah. in esters for like five minutes each. Five so minutes each. Where the, uh, that is actually from. quite mad. That it's fucking weird. Yeah, what a no, building, it was really odd. What a find. Because we, I, 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 I had given up. Like uh, I, I was sleeping in the car. Yeah. And who did you? Who found, oh, found that? Daily. Yeah, How I the fuck it. did you find that? Fucking genius, and I mate. That's mad. Because <laughs> I had that. Me. I had the That's spreadsheet. It. So, because obviously we went to the mansion Was that first. On there? No. So we went to the mansion first. Then yeah. we tried. I think it was like three different places. You know, just looking into the. We didn't go physically oh, go I was there. Say. I know we, we went to another one. Them. How long was I sleeping? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because there was one. Um, it was like a recently closed down hospital. Um, oh, but yeah. The, you know, we looked into like comments on their posts and stuff, and just yeah, realized it I wasn't worth it. That, and no. then Bailey started looking through twenty eight days later, and like I know that we've talked about it before, how um, urban explorers are so cryptic and secretive about their locations it's yeah. so hard to find abandoned places so the fact you found that and tracked it down in the space of like because you had like five the, I minutes found the building i found the building and tracked it down within the last mile before our exit where we yeah. had, we had to take because we were driving up the so cool uh, m25 i think it was a car we going back towards we were. royston weren't we yeah, yeah. Towards, we were yeah. we were on we were north northeast southwest london west london nearly yeah. like off m25 kind of time to t turn off yeah. and then we were like this is the last chance it's the last one that we're going to check because you had to get home for an early start in the morning jordan Did so I? we were like yeah, yeah, last night golf yeah fucking golf i played man. fucking shit as well yeah. that <laughs> was a day i played that badly i decided halfway through that round that i was going to take a three-month break during the winter <laughs> <laughs> and I cancelled my gym membership that sorry my golf membership that day. Jesus, so I was like, I can't do this in the fucking rain and shit. But then I went and played today. But yeah, for you nice. to have found that it that quickly I was so it. impressive. I found it, pinned it on the map. I said, "Mike, you're gonna have to pull off here." Yeah, <laughs> and I literally, <laughs> and I literally like cut across like now, five lanes. Now. This is it. <laughs> yeah, and then I just remember thinking like, I can't be fucked. Because also my yeah. feet it was so fucking wet. I'd like dropped dropped into a massive puddle because there was that storm the night before. I took my fucking socks oh, off trying to air God. out. I put my fucking bare feet back in my trainers and then we just went in. But to be fair, oh. the moment that I like hopped into that building, we opened that door, mate. I was fucking I was on. Yeah. I was like, this is fucking I have to sick. Say, like I know I love exploring. But I can't say I was disappointed when I couldn't get through the window. I was I was buzzing. I was so tired. I was just happy to just sit in the car on TikTok for a couple also of hours. As well, when it comes to these abandoned places, I think you mentioned this in the video. Our luck is going it's going to run out. Hundred percent. It like is hundred percent. That'll be yeah. the one I go to. Guaranteed. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I can literally, it. we walk around some fucking nutcase homeless geezer on spice just fucking bottles you in the neck with like a no, fucking. No, he, he just runs out like, and just goes, Scott. He <laughs> just starts chasing Scott specifically. What? Pushes us out of the way. He's like, I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that is. Yeah, it will definitely yeah. run out. That's, it's it the will. one thing that does freak me out about abandoned places is that well, there's a, you know obviously the risk of people being in there for whatever reason you know whether they're a murderer or you know even just young people just hanging out still fucking scary. Yeah. Oh, but, I, I am 
100 times more afraid of living people in abandoned buildings yeah. than any kind of paranormal thing we may come up against without yeah, a doubt. Right. Skin Morgan has pretty spooky, mate. Yeah. Like, oh, I want to come up against one of those. I don't know. I'd rather oh, well, that is living. wander around Pontefract. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah. That was good. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's a reason why you lock yourself into 30 East Drive. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. don't give me the key. Yeah, don't get yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll never, I will never get over that. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Let me in. Yeah, right, mate. Yeah, fuck it. Right, what do you want, mate? That, that the impressionability on that is fucking insane. Unless the guy had the force, he was like, yeah. "You will let me in." He, oh, yeah, he literally was like banging the door down as well. Like it's not even like he was being nice or charming or convincing. Let me you know. in there. He just, I can't remember what he said, but he was like, yeah. "Let me right, in." Scott, I want to do a bit of role play <laughs> with you now, right? <laughs> So, practice go oi let me in give me the key scott what do you do no there we go i, I have learned nice. my mistake. that's it nice. well done, scott. i'm still blaming still that on saying, being tired he's saying no but, <laughs> but he's still opening the door <laughs> <laughs> uh, no 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 i'm not doing that <laughs> i'm not going to give you the key but i will let you in <laughs> but then my absolute disgust when I came downstairs and you guys didn't film it. It was too I was like, quick to have done. Yeah, like, yeah. if I'd have stopped and got the camera, the Scott guy would have been the in the house. Exactly. Yeah. There was no time for me to sort it. Me and, and, then... me, and... <laughs> me and Bailey are just upstairs live streaming, unfortunately coming to the conclusion that a live stream will trigger an emf <laughs> that was gutting because that was that going was mental and then, and then someone was like range, yeah. yeah you got it right first time you said it, yeah, well yeah. done i've got that down now it's a fish mate <laughs> but yeah i would like to go back to 30 east drive as well yeah definitely just uh, but yeah, again he needs to come there as well doesn't he yeah, yeah. yeah. well he didn't do the 30 east the waiting list is two years why so I know. Got to get a Every single day of the week, it's because they sell it out to like big companies like Haunted Happening, yeah, it's and then they sell the slots. Yeah. So you can't just buy it as a like individual anymore. To be fair, I did go there, but someone wouldn't let me in. But <laughs> <laughs> not that fucking way. Really. I heard him put the key in the door, but then some girl <laughs> said no. So <laughs> stranger danger. Oh, there's a few fuck. <laughs> there's a few fucking weird things with that. Like yeah. the, I tell you what, the one of the most underrated—I wouldn't say underrated because we definitely addressed it and stuff—but um, your voice yeah. coming through twice, Bailey. What the fuck was that about? One hundred percent was coming through twice, wasn't it? Like, yeah, not and to confirm, like you it, were it mimicked. A, yeah, to confirm it wasn't a problem with my um my recorder that I had. It come through on the camera as well. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Was, that was so weird. Happened, whatever it was, you know. Did come? Did actually that pick? <laughs> did was picked up? You know and it mean? was so funny because obviously, like Scott and Jordan were asleep, but we were so it's buzzing. So we go, we go through to show Jordan the evidence. And he's like, "Oh wow, wow!" <laughs> <laughs> and then you showed me, and that was the real. Yeah, the, uh, yeah Scott, look that. At this. <laughs> I was you. I I was in a chair using a pillow as a blanket. <laughs> you using your shirt as a blanket. I was using anything I could find as a blanket. Yeah, yeah. you were using fucked. It's when no, it's when we're all setting up for something. I can't remember what it was, and you're sitting there with the pillow on your lap. Yeah, some old <laughs> yeah. lady in her wheelchair. Old lady. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no. There's another another bit of evidence that we've only ever spoken about on our live stream before because it wasn't spotted until we we did the watch along live stream, and it's when I do my solo walk around and the chair has been moved. Oh yeah, the chair's moved. And we yeah. watch back the footage, oh, yeah. and there's no way that that chair because no yeah. one would have gone upstairs in the time that me and Bailey were in the coal shed, and I did my solo walk around. That's yeah. insane. Really fucking weird. Disgusting. Yeah. Quite yeah. frankly. Man. It is. We'll have to go back there next year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, 100%. If we can book that, that'd be awesome. Yeah, even if we have to do it through Haunted Happenings, I'm sure we could just like maybe book out all the slots on like a Wednesday or something. Maybe just get a discount through them or something. Yeah. Yeah. I should yeah. talk to Brian or whatever his name is. I did love 
say East Drive. And I'd, again, yeah. I'd love to go back to investigate the door because, yeah. you know, yeah. it, mm-hmm. it's good to go back to these things with a fresh head, not a 3 a.m. already scared out of your mind head because, yeah. you know, you take everything for face value. So it'd be good yeah. to go yeah. back and look. And Just, I'm so there, excited. I'm going the day before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, will be, I will be awake. I'll be conscious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I you think this is. Being there, Scott. Like, <laughs> I remember the fir- I remember the first half. I remember I the rest because there's video of it. Yeah, mm. you remember fish and chips, and then nothing. And then I remember waking <laughs> up in Norwich afterwards. Ew, we had fish and chips. That's so gross. Jordan Such a random chips. pre. No, what did we not. have? Kaba- I we, think you had a calzone. Yeah, I had oh, a bad fish and chip place. So We ordered just yeah. eat. I think. Well, we, oh, yeah, we yeah, yeah. initially yeah. tried to go to the shop, and when we got to the shop, it had been smashed in. Uh, yeah, so the we there. then stopped at the fish and chip shop. I was terrified. And there were like kids wheeling around on scooters, like screaming. Yeah. Stuff like seven, seven year olds to clarify. Yeah. But I have never back. been more scared of a child in my entire life. It was so scary. Yeah, and then I got back. We got back, and I was like, "What well, the fuck? They've given me gravy. I asked for curry sauce, and you guys were like, "No, you." Definitely asked for gravy. <laughs> you were so scared. Just, you were that the wrong scared. Thing. I was so afraid. I was so afraid. <laughs> yeah, no, Pony, Pony Pony say, I'm going to get stabbed there. Is Pontefract is 100% the roughest, scariest place I've ever yeah. been in my life. I yeah. would rather live in the Ram than spend one afternoon in Pontefract. There you go. Sorry if you live in Pontefract, but you, you should move. Yeah, we're not allowed Jesus. back in Pontefract now after that. <laughs> we won't be allowed back. So that's that's it. I'm already terrified. So it was like it was so funny because when we we left at like five in the morning because we wanted to start driving back, but <laughs> we were all so scared to get in the car. I think we literally took everything in one trip just to get back to the car so that we didn't have to go out. Because um, even the lady that owns it, she was like, "You have to smoke inside at night because it's yeah. too rough outside." So mm. you there's there's like a little smoking room, so you can't even go outside to smoke because yeah. it's that Fuck. dangerous. Yeah, no, honestly. And she was like, the amount of weirdos that come to this house because of what this house is, like, just mm. don't don't let anyone in and don't go outside. It's like, what yeah. the actual <laughs> fuck? Scott wasn't listening, apparently. <laughs> yeah. It's because she didn't sp- it's cause she didn't do you a medium reading, isn't it? It was, you yeah. Know, I thought, you know, oh, don't, yeah. trust her. don't trust her, not listening. That, she ignored well, me. <laughs> when we rocked up as well, just that random old <laughs> bloke just walking by, said, oh, you're not going in there, are you? <laughs> He was literally pissed out of his head. Yeah. Fucking it, wallet uh, hanging if out. If you watch the horror pocket. movie, right? If you watch the horror movie, he's the sort of guy, right? He'll walk up, he'll tell you a fucking scary story. You'll look away, look back, and it's just disappeared. Yeah. yeah. Did that not he happen? Was, he though? was a ghost. That yeah. man was a ghost. Well, yeah. Was he was the black monk. Shit, he shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> he just wearing a trench <laughs> coat. <laughs> he just offers <laughs> you wares. You fucking go on it. I won't go in the. Oh, no. It was like maybe three in the after three, <laughs> three oh, four in the afternoon. He was pissed out of his head. Wow, yeah. He was and so was the guy that knocked the on the door. He was definitely drunk. They're both definitely. on special brute. <laughs> maybe it was the same guy. Maybe, yeah. maybe it actually back. could have been. Maybe no idea. But, oh no, I also remember there was one point. I think it was later on in the night because it was like a stained glass window on the door. And one of you looked through it and you could see someone standing at the end of the pathway. Standing just on the other side of the gate at the end of the pathway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Staring yeah. in staring into 30 East Drive, but then they just left. Yeah, yeah. they just never came back. I think I think was it was it me? Because I was like, there's a man in the garden. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do was, I do yeah. remember because well, we did the live stream and someone that was watching said that they lived in Pontefract. Uh but he's if I remember who it is rightly, isn't he quite like he's quite a normal viewer? Like he wouldn't just show up. I can't viewer. remember who it is. But I think, just... I think I remember who it was, and I think he's he he comes in all the time and he's quite normal. Yeah, I think he's not a psychopath. No. <laughs> yeah. But then, you know, I'm us. not being funny. If I lived in the area and I was like a young kid or whatever. I would just swing by every now and then just to be like, because you never know who's going to be in there. Like, it could be us. It could be Sam and Colby. You know, I'd be swinging that's by. What them, that's what them kids did when we were at the Ancient Ram Inn. They yeah. were like, oh, yeah. they were asking us, and they were you like, we we saw a TGF the other week. Like, yeah. Because cool. you just nice. would. Like, if you were just yeah. like, 
you know, 15, 16, you know, you just be out with your mates. You just walk past, just be like, let's go see if there's any YouTubers there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because big people go to Dirty's driving the round. Yeah, so you, yeah. would, you know, and then yeah. they're quiet little villages, you know what I mean? So they probably Nothing don't really get too much action. Yeah. In Shops it. getting broken into and <laughs> robbed up. Well, yeah. but the, the the engine ram in especially that oh, was just a fuck out. In. That was a butt fuck nowhere village. Yeah, that was. We walked into the pub and everyone just went. Yeah, it was one of them. <laughs> I was like, oh. you're not. For... You're not from around here, are you? Yeah, look, some city <laughs> oh, folk. yeah, that was so weird. Yeah. You definitely got the vibe that everywhere you went, you just weren't welcome mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. It was like the, um, what's a hot fuzz? It was like yeah. a village yeah. like that, completely. Like, everyone yeah. knows everyone, and people immediately knew that we weren't from around there. Don't look, <laughs> catching, look catching them the killers, eh? Don't look yeah. catching them killers. Remember we went into the shop, I was like, oh, yeah, can I have this, mate? And he went, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? I went, you what, bitch? Because he has a fucking name tag on. Oh, yeah? yeah. How do you know my name? I mean, you're a fucking name badge and twat. <laughs> that was in Tesco's, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. He was, I was like, oh, can I just, just get them, please? And he went, no. I went, fucking what, bitch? And he just said... <laughs> How do you know my name? So know my when, name? When, when we went down to Darren Woods... And we just stopped oh, in that fucking, fucking hell, man. that like off license. <laughs> what the fuck? And, was and that? we were like, yeah, we were served by like a dude out of severance. It was fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, you're just going to get a banjo. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, mate, it was but, really funny. Do you, know he looked, do you know what he looked like? You know, uh, you know, in Hot Fuzz, where he goes, when's your birthday? 23rd of May, what year? Every, Every year. Every year, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like him. He yeah. actually like him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I've just had flashbacks of the roads and have 100% decided that I would be taking the smaller car because there's absolutely no way I'm taking a big car on that. Do you remember how they it were was like all... like a cliff, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, they were yeah. like cliffs, really narrow, like with like... um stone walls like cobbled stone walls writ like one car everywhere yeah jesus how are you what what when when are you getting there scott uh well i don't know yet i've not planned that far ahead brilliant it's not very I've planned, far I've planned, away i've planned the basic transport right the yeah. exact the exact timings are still a mystery right okay so that's fine to, to be fair station. we haven't either we don't know what time we're leaving but when have what? we got it from isn't it seven? Uh, I, I will five. confirm that after this because I'm being texted tomorrow cool. with okay. all the details. So since I know yeah. that, I'll let you know. We'll just aim, to, I think, aim to get there for the time that we can have it from. Yes. What a concept. What yes. a concept. Yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't mind getting there a little bit early. You know, a little bit yeah, early. maybe get there an hour before the pop oh, shop first. Cheeky, baby. Cheeky little baby. You don't, you don't <laughs> want to back be to the same in a microwave at two yeah, in the morning. I'll pop, I'll pop into Mitch and be like, listen, you can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Mitch. Fucking want it this time. <laughs> yeah. Lozzy's uh Lozzy will be joining will be joining us, but it'll be a little bit of a maid's head situation. Yeah, He'll be joining us now. a little bit later on. Potentially. I've got to get there first. Jesus Christ. I'll be driving <laughs> after work, so you know what I mean. It's it, a long old drive as well. That's it. There might be a few yeah. houses that get destroyed. <laughs> right, it, their front door's over, mate, and you go inside. You're fine. That's it. If I'm gonna do that's it, good. I'm gonna fucking take out multiple occupancies. It's got to be done. <laughs> Hopefully, a child's bedroom somewhere along the well, way. Well, yeah. <laughs> Orphan. <laughs> we gonna there it is. Disclaimers. Right. Two disclaimers in one part. That's wow. it. That's that's it. it. Record. <laughs> On that bomb. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is a great. That is a great stepping off point. I think. Um, but now, nah, brilliant. Uh, it's going to be awesome. We all can't wait. And, uh, yeah. Sick. It's got to be done. Good. Where should we go in January? We haven't really thought of that far ahead, have we? No. Maybe. We no. That. No. I was going to say Haprica, but the weather needs to be warmer to go back there because that was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to go somewhere time. new. Yeah. I want to go somewhere new, but indoors because I've still got like. You know, we've got Pendle Hill, we've got fucking um what's the place begin with C Canic Chase. You know, so there's there's some there's some really cool outdoors ones, but I'd like to Scott. Scott is audio only. <laughs> 
yeah I'd, I'd like to do that but it's got to obviously be it's subject to it being available but there is a place in the uk called the house that cries and i'd really like to go there you the house, house that cries chance. <laughs> fucking screaming and crying in this fucking house mate in fact if you listen close enough it's going on right now <laughs> <laughs> right she's just gonna go to bailey's house that's it. yeah that'll the house that the cries grazely old the hall of contraception mate i can tell you that <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> screaming children <laughs> well, no. um yeah sounds the crying house anyway sorry yeah, the house that cries in Wolverhampton. In Wolverhampton. Oh, that's why. That's, that's a bit of a trek. <laughs> Maybe we find somewhere a little bit closer. But apparently, the house—it's not like a crying noise. It like just like tears. It oh, tears up. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Got a leak. Oh, he's back. Right. He's back. Yeah, just no. got leaks. Nice. Right. Oh, well, yeah. Well, we're good. Oh, shit. We're going to be going to the Ram. That'll be the next investigation that you see. Yes. Um, so excited. But the pod will be back next week. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking, guys, maybe uh, next week we film the Christmas special and then, or well, not the Christmas, we, we film next week and then after that we film the Christmas special. Mm -hmm. and the couple maybe just to tie us over to the new year so we kind of take a break yeah. from so i'll just get them all edited and done so we have a little christmas break but obviously the the uploads still go out That's something funny. like that yeah yeah Sounds and i'm also going to try and get my uh cousin's partner michael the prison guard on because he's got nice. lots of ghost stories from his time in prison working in a prison not in prison but yeah nice. all right We'll see you very soon. Thank you for listening and watching. Hit the like button, all that good stuff. Comment down below. Any topic ideas for future podcasts? All right. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.